Here we go. Three, two, one. I work! They say it can't be done, but today I'm gonna try and put toothpaste back in the tube. So we're gonna have a vacuum chamber. Inside the chamber will be the deflated toothpaste tube. Outside the chamber will be the nozzle of the toothpaste tube and it'll be sealed so that there will be a vacuum on the outside of the toothpaste tube and atmospheric pressure inside the toothpaste tube. 14.7 PSI is our atmosphere. With a high pressure inside the toothpaste tube and a low pressure on the outside of the toothpaste tube, it should inflate like a balloon. And when it inflates, it should draw toothpaste in like a syringe. At least that's what I'm thinking. And the most important part of this contraption is that the nozzle of the toothpaste tube is sealed outside the vacuum chamber. All right, I wanna do a little functional test, make sure this thing holds a vacuum and my gaskets work like I think they will. The cool thing about a vacuum chamber versus a pressurized chamber is, in theory, I should just be able to place these gaskets on and the vacuum will seal it all together. I'm not really expecting it to... But this is polycarbonate, which is shatter resistant, and I'm expecting the seals to fail first. These gaskets are just 16th inch rubber, but, Always prepare for the improbable. Oh, that's amazing. Huh, it's really easy to break the seal. Yeah, there's some leaks up here. Oh, wow. Maybe I should have gone with this softer rubber. Well, dang. I can fit a 10 thou feeler gauge in between the rubber and the tube. So I guess my saw cut isn't very flat. Hmm. Interesting. I just sanded that on a countertop sample. This is not a surface plate, but I wasn't able to fit a one and a half thou feeler gauge underneath it. Ah! <laughs> oh, this is amazing. I just made a vacuum chamber and there's no sealants, there's no fasteners. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Ah, oh, science. Hot diggity dog. Wait, rewind. Zoom. The scars. Did you catch it? The water vapor. Of course, water evaporates at a lower temperature in a vacuum. The vapor was made by the soapy water I used while testing. That's so crazy, I caught this while editing. Super cool. Let's try and reproduce the results. I put up this black background and I'm gonna backlight it to hopefully help you see it better.
This part is critical because I don't want any air in this system. All right, there's a lot of setup for one little moment. Here we go. Three, two, one. That's amazing! That tube has never had more toothpaste in it, not even from the factory. Yes! It worked! Wait, that's all air. <laughs> no, it's all air. There's gotta be a leak in the, in this system between this tube and this tube. Oh, I see. Now, Instead of just squeezing this tube to reset it and empty it, let's try compressed air. I changed out the fitting to run compressed air. This is 90 PSI. Looks like none of the air bubbles inside the silicone exploded. That's awesome. You can see the seal on my rubber gasket. That's working pretty good. I added a generous amount of thread sealant with a gentle hose clamp. Let's try this again. Fire up the vacuum. Three, two, one. There it goes. Where's the leak? There's a leak somewhere. I think it's just not going as fast as it was before because it's so thick. Continue. Looks like it's sealed. Just taking a bit. Oh, I see the problem. It's all kinked up right here. It looks like it's all packed in and it sealed itself shut. I think we've reached the limit of this method. Let's try the cup. What a weird thing to do. Someday this will be my job. All right, I gotta know, what happens when you light toothpaste on fire? Oh jeez, I, I knew that was coming. Well, that was weird. It's like, whoa. It's like a burnt marshmallow. You ready, dude? I'm ready. All right, let's do dude. this. Dude, dude. Turn on the pump. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I gotta squeeze the air out and hold it there. Mm -hmm. So then when I say when I say I'm good, then set the tube on and then we'll do the thing and the thing. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> okay, go. Cool. Uh, Okay, we're set. Go ahead. Set the tube on. Yep, fire it up. Sorry, Jay. No! Dang it, we gotta do it again. Dude, it was working. It was working, and then I got air under it. If you move it too fast, it creates air. If you go too slow, it creates air. Yeah. Take three. Dang it. Dang it, did it again. It's like a Slurpee when you, you get a cavity in the bottom and there's just air. Oh, okay, I'll start on the edge and then move around the perimeter. Mm -hmm. All right.
Dang it. Do it again. I want a full tube. <laughs> okay, one more time. Last time. Oh, I've got this. Almost there, no! <laughs> okay, well, how much? Air, 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 air. Half a tube. I think I'm getting the hang of this. One more time, I got this. I got this, okay? I got this. Dang it, dang it! Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a, uh, that was something. If you like this video, you're welcome to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I put up a new video. And if you want to see more ridiculous projects like this one, I'll have a playlist right here. See you on the next one.